Honestly, when my birthday came around and y'all didn't necessarily understand that I was 23, I kind of felt off about that, honestly. I'm not gonna lie. Because when it comes down to it, I was like, how do you not know? But I gotta keep remembering new people coming to this channel every single time. And when it comes down to it, not everybody's gonna know the age of what I actually am. And really, I don't flaunt it around. I don't really think anybody does. Like, who is happy to get older? Like, bitch, I want to stay younger. The hell? But when it comes down to it, though, that's just how it is for me. And, you know, I understand that not everybody's gonna be super knowledgeable of the person that they're watching all the time. And because not everybody really knows too, too much about the you know life that i have and what i've done i wanted to kind of go back and revert and i guess show you a bit of that which is through my passions honestly because kokatsu love doing that writing love doing that you know making story related stuff and you know this channel with content creation love doing all this stuff but the first passion i ever really had for was obviously drawing drawing if it wasn't for that i wouldn't be able to you know be in a position where i would find myself interesting because i don't have many skills but writing drawing and you know making stories like that is part of the skill set that i do have and i guess video editing now too but the first gift i was ever able to obtain and get was obviously drawing and what better way to start out drawing than, you know, telling you the story about how I got into it. Now, I told the story before, but I'll tell it again because it's been a long time and not many people watch that video. But when it comes down to it, essentially, don't have research material on your phone when your parents are in, like, basically around and they check your phone for that type of thing. So my phone got taken away, which that was some nonsense. But then at the same time, I guess that wouldn't had, you know, had the effect of me wanting to get into drawing. So one day I was in class, just decided just to doodle some nonsense. And then all of a sudden I felt like this adrenaline rush, like this weird thing that ha kind of happened. It felt like someone shot a beam through my whole heart. And then I just started crafting this character and I didn't feel like I was drawing this at all. It just kind of felt like I was just doing random shit. And then all of a sudden I got this finished copy of a character. And if you can kind of tell and kind of can take a guess for 10 seconds, yes, this is the first variation of Jay, obviously. This is the first variation of my character. And immediately when I got done, I felt like this was a God-given gift that he awakened in me because I was just like, Lord, is this what you want me to do? Because I was extremely confused. Keep in mind, I never drew anything outside of stick figures and I traced a little bit of anime, but I was never really even good at tracing. So the fact that I was able to come up with this and, you know, kind of gone to where we are now says a lot. So for me personally, I feel like anytime I draw, it's a gift literally given by God and I didn't necessarily know I had this type of thing I could do. So for me, that's just kind of how it is. And from that point forward, that's when I started to try to do everything and try to draw everything that I could. And keep in mind, all the stuff I've done is self-taught. I haven't taken any type of lesson. I haven't really, you know, watched any type of, you know, way of doing things. And anytime I did try to do any type of proper, like, you know, way of drawing, like measurements and proportions and stuff like that, it never clicked with me, literally never clicked with me. So I just said, okay, I'm not going to bother doing this. I'm just going to draw it the way I do it, which is just draw the character in the head in shapes and stuff without doing all that specific like proportion measurements. And most mangaka do people do that as well. So when it comes down to it, I'm basically on a mangaka level a little bit, but you know, that's neither here nor there. And I know somebody usually like to ask this question, which is, how do I start drawing? How do I get into shape of drawing, honestly? And I am not a great teacher, and I am not the person to ask that question about because I can explain it to you. But if I were to give you any idea of how I started and, you know, what did I mainly focus drawing on, it was mainly just anime characters and mainly my own original characters that I created. Because literally, I was on a rampage of just drawing Jay a lot, and then, that's when baby girl Saki came through and her hair looks all kinds of weird. Look at this shit. Look like a dang miscalculated, very effed up edged boomerang, honestly, because that's literally how this junk honestly look. But that's just kind of how it was back then. That's how Saki used to look. Then I quickly decided to change her haircut because 
that I just couldn't vibe with that, which is why she looked like that. And then now she looks like the way she does now. See how much of a transformation Saki had? She had a lot. Jay had a transformation like that too. Plenty of different hairstyles. But at the very same time, I kind of always knew that he had some type of wild and bunch of hair though. But you know, that just kind of is what it is. And honestly, I need to redraw him again, honestly, because I haven't drawn him in literally a year or so. But when it comes down to it though, I didn't draw like characters that everyone knows. I drew my own characters because that's what I valued the most. And so Jay and Saki from that point forward, along with other characters from that other show that I'm still trying to work on, that's when, you know, things got important and that's when they became the most important characters I ever created, Saki especially too. But that's just the genesis of literally my beginning of drawing because at that point I was honestly just trying to see what other different things I could do and draw. Hell, there's one picture of Saki that I drew of her becoming like this YouTube streamer girl who ends up just don't know anything about technology and she doesn't know what a PS4 is. So she basically just like, okay, so what am I doing here? How? What, what, what X button are you talking about? What, what is this? What, I don't understand. I did not come for this life. And so basically, Saki was illiterate in technology, but I kind of wreck on that because I don't think that she would be that. As time gone on, and then as my family kind of saw that I was being serious about getting into drawing, that's when I started to get my own sketchbooks finally and continue drawing my own OC characters along with other characters as well. And then as time goes on, that's when the pro you know the progress of like getting into art and actually laying down the law when it comes to it actually gotten like really damn good honestly like to be honest with you if you look at my digital art it pales in comparison to my traditional art because if you really just want straight traditional art and just make it look good and saucy that's some of the best work like look at this one of cosmo honestly cosmo looking mad fine I don't understand how you wouldn't want Cosmo. Then look at literally other stuff that I've done. It's just, there's a lot of things to really like out here. Hell, my best one, if you want to see something in color, would be of Rius looking like this. And this took about eight hours to do. So essentially, I took eight hours from school, essentially coming home, you know, from school and just kind of dealing with all this. Then come straight home, draw this picture of Rius for eight hours and then literally was done like at night and that was the whole day spent. And I was so happy being done with this one because this one was probably my greatest achievement of all the traditional art I've ever done, honestly. So to me, this is just my favorite picture of all the traditional art I've ever really done because I didn't think I could do this. And I wasn't tracing, I wasn't necessarily using any type of like, you know, cheating method. I just looked at the screen, looked back at the paper, and tried to draw it the best I could by, you know, visualizing it as well as, you know, looking at drawing it at the same time. And that's just kind of how it was for me. And honestly, I just, again, hella enjoyed this picture. The point is, um, making this video really is essentially just to show that I have a lot of things that I can definitely do. Drawing is obviously one of them. In fact, it's still my first main and should be my main passion of all things though. But when it comes down to it, it just goes to show that, again, there is a bit of talent that is here. Maybe talent that you haven't really seen so much of, but there is talent that is here. And I love doing what I do. And I just hate the fact that I'm still in this position because it's just like, come on now. There should be a way out of this or you know things like that and it's just like there is no way that this talent that i feel like god given himself to me that awakened in me and just essentially that should go to waste there's no way that sh this should just go to waste at all so that's why really i'm so focused on just trying to draw stuff again and again trying to get this out there and hopefully somebody will notice or something of the sort and maybe we can make an actual change in our lives to actually get something going right i may be only good at drawing anime characters right but i draw them pretty damn well honestly you know cosmo looking mad fine again like look how much detail and how accurate she kind of looks oda chan anytime you know she looking mad fine so when it comes down to it it's not impossible and it shouldn't be impossible for us to make it somewhere it just when is that time going to come who knows but at the end of the day, I just really wanted to show off this stuff because we talk about a lot of other artists all the time 
and I really just wanted to just put out my stuff out there too even though we did this before but I want to do it again so people can have a refreshing mind of it but that's essentially all I really wanted to say for this one so hopefully you did enjoy if you did be sure to like subscribe hit the bell in case you're out also follow me on Twitter blue sky and you'd like to donate to the channel go find and cash up as available as well again please if you'd like to donate please do your boy needs it and until then it's a sign off have a blessed day